puffs. So I'm doing my first ever just random weekly vlog. Now I'm doing a Halloween edition because it's a good one to start with and I'm carving this pumpkin. Now I saw this in Morrison's the other day with John and I was like that is so cool. They had like green ones, white ones and just your bog standard orange and I'm going to try and carve a newt pumpkin. I'm going to actually make some squash slash pumpkin soup so you can watch me do that in my soup maker. We're going to do some other things, look at some Halloween costumes. I'm going to probably be wearing my same McGonagall costume as last year for Halloween and also I'm going to make a roast later so it's just going to be a kind of a week in the life where I'm going to film lots of little snippets. So this is where it all goes terribly wrong, Potter Puffs. Here I am merrily drawing some lovely new pumpkin designs. Little did I know that in a minute things are going to go quite wrong for me. I had to create a lot of designs because I did struggle to find one which would work and actually look like new. So I go to cut into the pumpkin and yeah, I just put it on the screen to make you aware. It's definitely not carvable, guys. I'm sticking knives in, I'm telling John like, it's not working, I can't open it. And then he goes and gets his saw and this is the mess that we're left with. And yeah, there's nothing I can do with this. It's really not savable. And when we look inside, yeah, it's just solid squash. So I can't even make a soup. So it turns out Potter Puff, so that wasn't something I could carve. It is a squash and it is just completely solid. So you can't even carve them which is really annoying. We took a saw to it, as you saw, as you saw, and yeah, there was no way I could do it. So I'm gonna have to buy a standard pumpkin and now just tidy away all the mess. How annoying. Okay, so that was a massive epic fail, as we know. I can't make squash soup because squash is way too tough, guys. So what I'm gonna do now is try and make a soup with other ingredients. I've got some carrots. Let me have a look and see what I've actually got in the fridge. We have celery, carrots, chilies, red onions. Could this make a good soup? So we are going to make, let's have a look, carrot and celery soup. And yeah, let's get on with it. It's really, really easy in the soup maker. So I'd have to slave over a stove, which I wouldn't want to do. did everything they said. Let's tip it up. So lots of vegetables. I'll probably take it for my lunch tomorrow at work, which will be really good. I haven't used it in so long. It's really dusty. We have tea and coffee ready and the soup is done. There it is. Um, the color's quite dark, probably because of the beef stock, but I'm sure it tastes nice. It smells nice. Okay, gang, so now it's time for me to make a roast. I like to do it most Sundays, to be honest. This Halloween vlog's kind of just turning into a cooking vlog, but you know, you get what you get here and you guys want to see more of my real life, so here you go. So I do kind of cheat when I do a roast. I don't make everything from scratch and that is purely because there are only two of us and it will take up a lot of my Sunday. Sunday is also the day that I upload my videos. So in a minute, what I'm gonna do when the video goes live, uh, quarter past five, I'm gonna start replying to you guys' comments. It's the Gobstone Alley video today that's coming out. Let me go and get the dinner. So we have a chicken some duck fat roast potatoes, which as you can see, I don't make from scratch. And I don't actually like roast potatoes that much. Ready-made Yorkshire puddings. Now I can make Yorkshire puddings, but it's the lazy factor here. Then we got stuffing and some vegetables. So I'm gonna get on with it. So I decided that I would reply to you guys' comments because my video has literally just been released. Uh, this is the Gobstone Alley one because this vlog will probably come out a little bit later. So yeah, it's the Gobstone Alley video. I have just released it literally like 10 minutes ago and I have got some comments to reply to so I'm going to read them out and I'm going to answer them because this is what I do when you guys aren't here. So gang, I apologise for the fact my hair is getting wilder and wilder as this vlog goes on but this is real life. So the first comment is from Nia's Life and she says, first, I love how you guys compete for first. First, love these videos. Also, my box is late and I'm still waiting for it. Mm. 
I'm just going to talk out loud so you guys can hear. Hi Mia, thank you so much for watching, oh I can't type and speak, that's hard, for watching my videos. I hope your box arrives very soon. What does it say? Harry Vickers says, just came out of the shower and got an amazing surprise. Love you. How cute. Okay, let's reply to that one. Hi Harry, hope you enjoy the video. Doorcat has said, Gobstone Alley is such a cool subscription box. I really enjoy watching you open Gobstone Alley boxes. That is good because I will be doing it every month. It's so awesome that you love Gobstone Alley. Lots more unboxings to come. Waterpuffs, there is a package waiting for me. Yes, it could be my new Crimes of Grindelwald pot. Who knows, I have to go to the post office right now to get it, because I can't wait, obviously. We got it. Let's hope he's not damaged. I don't think he is. That is a real bonus. He's a little bit crushed, but he should be okay. Yay! And I got some fabric today for photos. How nice are these? So here's a good Halloween part. We're looking at all of Morrison's amazing displays. Look at all the Halloween stuff. Like I would love to decorate my whole house in Halloween stuff. And these mummies are hilarious. I absolutely love them. And obviously I'm a child and press them and turn them all on. But look, look at all of it. The only thing I don't like is the spiders. They're gross. I love the skeleton dogs. Everything here is so amazing. But I think I'm going a bit fast. I can't see. Oh my God, one of these things looks like Moaning Myrtle. Yes, that. I think that looks a bit like Moaning Myrtle in a weird way, but it's really, really creepy. And in a minute, we're going to see something that you're going to like. And it begins with Harry Potter merch. Look at this. Yes, they have colour changing glasses, but not Hufflepuff, so I cannot buy it. But I absolutely think that is so cool. And for any of you Gryffindors, you should totally, totally get one. This is in B&M now. They have a cool little selection. So we see a colour changing mug. I love those. And also a breakfast set. I think that's really cute, but I have quite a similar cauldron cup already. But I absolutely love all the things in here. Really cool. And last thing I'm going to show you is these playing cards. So guys, it's been a while since I updated you guys on the vlog. This is the first proper vlog I've done. I filmed it over two weeks and the last time I spoke on the vlog, so what you just saw a couple of seconds ago, was like a week ago. Now we're a week closer to Halloween and I still haven't made my proper pumpkin after the fail. So I've had a cold for a few days. I've been filming like the life print video, which you saw last week. When you're watching this, I'm actually at Dry Ag Con. So it's been very hectic, but I'm going to do my proper pumpkin today because we've learned our lesson just by a normal pumpkin. So I'm going to show it to you now and I've also bought an additional extra. Oh, so here is my pumpkin, two pound in Tesco. I'm going to carve this as new as I said I was going to in the last video. I'm also going to do some painting because that is my strong point. With new, I also got the cutest pumpkin I think I've ever seen. I mean, how cute is this pumpkin? It was a pound and the big one was two pounds, so not cost effective. It's called a munchkin pumpkin. How cute is that? So I'm gonna maybe paint a little picket on it and just stand it next to Newt. Who knows, I'm creative, I'll come up with something. For Halloween, I don't usually do loads. When I was younger, we used to do like a Halloween feast. I used to love that, I used to do that at home. Um, I don't do that anymore, but we do have a buffet at work and we dress up for work. So due to costs and the fact I do not have much spare money with the things I'm doing this month, and the fact I need a new car, let's not forget that. So I'm going to be going again as Professor McGonagall. I love that costume, so any excuse to wear it, I'm really not fussed about the fact I have to wear that again. 
you've seen me wear it on previous videos. For DragCon, I've got an outfit I'm gonna do. It's gonna involve the same skirt that I wore to uh, the studios, but I'm gonna mix it up with t-shirts. I've got some different ideas, and I've got the coolest backpack ever, which I'm gonna go and get and show you right now. The backpack of my dreams came. It's a Hufflepuff Queen one, because I thought when I go to Cursed Child, and when I go to DragCon, I don't want to have to wear the same jumper all the time or the same outfit. So instead of getting a t-shirt with the Hufflepuff Queen written on it, I decided to get a backpack, which means whatever event I go to, I'm prepared, it's on my back, it's perfect, I can wear a jacket, because you couldn't do that if you were wearing like a Hufflepuff Queen t-shirt. So it's just a good logistical choice, if that is a good word to use, probably not. Anyway, so the backpack I got was from Doodle Togs, which is a website I've never heard of, but they make cool backpacks. And it's got the Hufflepuff Queen logo on it with the Potterpuff, all of my social medias, and let's appreciate the fact that I put my Dumblebee on the backpack. How cute is that? And also McGonagall, because she is my fave. Um, it's really cute. I've also got my head wig, which I won from a giveaway once from the platform nine and three quarter shop. I can't wait to go to Dragon. And the reason I got something printed with my name is not to be like big headed. It's just because last time you guys couldn't tell if it was me or not. Like at the studio tour, a few people said they were a bit too nervous just in case it was someone who looked like me. So now if I've got a backpack with my name on, I'm hoping you guys can spot me easily with the yellow because I know a lot of you guys are going to Dragon. That's that. I really need to get on with the pumpkin to show you. It's gonna look so cool. Just to let you guys know as well, this hoodie is potentially the best thing I own. Look at it. The golden snitch zip is everything. And I just needed to show you this because I think it's an integral part of Halloween or just October and winter in general is wearing this amazing onesie, which I got last year in Primark. It's the onesie of dreams. I love it. Let me know as well, because it is my first vlog, what you think of it, because it's a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying it and I hope to do a lot more Hufflepuff Queen vlogs for you all. So take two, I actually do manage to get into the pumpkin this time and I'm like so relieved right now. I'm like, yes, I've done it, I've got in. It's going well, everything's still going well. It's really, really slimy. I can't be bothered to make a suit this time because we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. But now I'm just, yeah, scooping it out. Things are still going well. Do you like my Harry Potter leggings, guys? I absolutely love them, apart from they are really broken now. Um, so yeah, nearly done hollowing out this pumpkin. And then, yes, now it's time to draw. So I draw out another design. Again, it's a really cool newt one. And I can't wait to show you on camera what's going to happen next, which is really going to be an anti-climax for you. So that's why it is called a pumpkin fail video. At least I am hollowing it out properly and cutting out the eyes. Something went wrong. Okay, so I did my first pumpkin. We all know that went wrong because of the fact I couldn't carve it. That was beyond my control. Today, as you saw, I attempted to film a time lapse of me creating this magnificent Newton Pickett, kind of magnificent pumpkin. And I was really happy, and I got it all done, and I got right to the end, and guess what I hadn't done? Something quite integral when you are a vlogger, turning on the camera. So, <laughs> we've just created two pumpkins now. I'm not doing it again. I actually refuse to do another pumpkin. I'm gonna hate pumpkins for life if I have to do another one. But we're just gonna have a little look at the pumpkin I created that you didn't see me create. You saw me cut out the eyes and the eyebrows. That's the actual carving part. Um, after that, as you can see, I did painting. I'm quite impressed with what I did. It's not a masterpiece. I work better on canvas or paper. And I also work better when I'm not having to do it in quite a limited amount of time. But I created some nice little ombre effect new hair. I've done some nice little eyes. I was going to attempt to kind of shave the eyes, but I thought, no, don't try and confuse things. Um, he's got his bow tie, which you can just see here, and then he's got a little scarf. So I'm actually quite happy with him. I've also done, oh, you can't really see it, but like when he's not drying, there's a bit of scarf paper here, which is quite cool. You can add that to any design. So I did a Harry one last year. This year we've got new. Here he is. I'm sorry it's not a time lapse, it was meant to be, 
And also, can we please appreciate my kind of wonky picket, but I used a baby pumpkin to create a picket to go with new, which I think is a really cute idea. This video didn't go how I planned it to, but I've learned from it. I've learned to turn on the camera. Um, so yeah, that's the Halloween vlog, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I could get really frustrated about the fact that I hadn't actually done this video properly, but I'm not going to. It's over, it's done, and we have a lovely Newton picket after. This is a cool idea though, if you do want to carve one for Halloween, if you're not great at carving, do some painting instead. Be expressive like me, I literally was, like, you would have seen it if the video was recording. Basically, you would have seen me just splatting paint everywhere. It was a lot of fun and quite therapeutic. So that concludes the vlog for today, Potter Puffs. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. There were other things I wanted to show you, but literally this would have gone on for like an hour. So I'm going to have to just do more vlogs because that was a lot of fun. Let me know what you think and I will see you next week. I'm still enjoying myself at DragCon when you watch this video. So you will see some videos about that very, very soon. Bye.